The next is portion number 39, the squamous cell carcinoma of the uterine cervix metastasing uh, to bilateral cervical lymph nodes and thyroid, a case report. Uh, Ravindra Kumar S, Jayaraj U, Rodrigo V S T, uh, Taleviraj N, the presenting author is uh, Ravindra Kumar S. Uh, good afternoon all, I'm Dr. Ravindra Kumar from uh, DJ Chilao and thank you all for giving us this opportunity to present our case report. Uh, I'm here to talk about a case of uh, uh, squamous cell carcinoma of the uterine cervix which has metastasized to the um, thyroid. Just to give you an introduction, there has been only five to six uh, such cases reported in the English literature so far. Uh, in our case, there was a 56-year-old female. She had presented with a neck clump for four months duration uh, with on and off abdominal pain. And on general examination, we had noticed that she's having a hard uh, mass in the thyroid and with the enlarged multiple cervical lymph nodes. And she also had an enlarged and hard uh, uterine cervix. We followed this up with a biopsy of the uterine cervix and uh, uh, a FNAC of the thyroid and uh, an excision biopsy of the cervical, enlarged cervical lymph nodes. And all three came back as squamous cell carcinoma. We followed this up with a pan endoscopy to rule out any upper uh, aerodigestive malignancies and it yielded negative results. Uh, after, this, after this, we carried out a contrast enhanced CT, CECT, and uh, that showed a mass in the, uh, mass in the cervix uh, associated with enlarged lymph nodes in the abdomen, mediastinum, and cervical, uh, cervical region, and also a mass in the left lobe of thyroid. So then we had this diagnostic dilemma as to whether these were two different primaries or whether it was a malignancy in the cervix which had uh, metastasized to the uh, thyroid. Then, uh, then we came to the conclusion it must have been a metastasis because of the, uh, the fact that first of all primary, primary squamous cell carcinomas in the thyroid is rare and the other thing is the progression of the lymph node from the abdomen to the, uh, the mediastinum to the cervical region. Uh, uh, the case reports, there are about five to six case reports reported in English literature, and out of that majority of them, uh, the patients had received palliative chemo radiotherapy, and uh, two of the patients had received uh, total uh, thyroidectomy, but the outcome for all of them was almost the same. The patients had succumbed to the illness within about one year of the uh, treatment, so we opted for uh, um, a palliative chemo radiotherapy with no active surgical intervention for, her, for the time being. So I would like to conclude by saying that uh, um, uh, metastasis of cervical carcinoma to the thyroid is a, a rare possibility and uh, accurate clinical and uh, uh, radiological studies should be done to confirm the diagnosis. Thank you. Thank you. The paper is open for discussion. Do you think that uh, this should be the case at all, cervical carcinoma being metastasized to thyroid. Do uh, you think that that should have been prevented at some point? The thing is, uh, you mean uh, the from from the from our point of yeah, view? Yeah. So we, because we call it rare. Yeah. The the, the yeah. thing is, this was a patient from a low socioeconomic status, and she had mm. the symptoms for about four months. Uh, she did go to the hospital once. Uh, after that, she lost follow-up, so it was like a rare occurrence. Usually, patients wouldn't ignore the symptoms. She came at such a la la late stage, which True. is why it was probably rare. Yeah. So, in that case, I mean, can you think about the possible health system issues? I mean, why this patient, now you said that the patient was from the lower socioeconomic background. So, I mean, could there be, say, lack, so lack of access to the knowledge or the health care? Could this have been also a reason? Uh, I think it was more of uh, the area where she was from, it was not uh, exactly uh, low social, I mean, it was most like a personal thing. She had some family issues and she had neglected her own health. But overall, the area that she was from wasn't, uh, wasn't that bad. Okay. It was my, like a one-off case from, because of certain family issues that she was having. Thank you. Let's give a round of applause to the presenter.